How y'all doing? Hey, before the first question, um, today marks a year, my first time, you know what I'm saying, back with the, with the Miami Dolphins team. Um, this time last year, I had a lot of emotions going, a lot of everything going, and uh, I just want to, right now, just once again, thank Mr. Ross and his family, Mr. Garfick with his family, Mr. Greer, Coach Mike. Um, changed my life, man, and uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with this team, and I'm thankful to be here in Germany with you guys, you know what I mean, and wouldn't have got this opportunity if this time last year wasn't around, so... Um, still a, a little emotional part of my journey, but at the end of the day, man, uh, I'm right where I need to be. God has a plan for me and my family, so um, and it's right here in Germany right now. So I'm taking the fullest advantage of it, and I appreciate y'all out here. So any questions? Hey, Bradley, what's up? Uh, and if I recall, that same time last year, you were just coming back from London playing yeah. game overseas. Yeah. What's it like now, a year later, uh, sort of the, the flip? Now with the Dolphins, you're going overseas to Germany, and uh, the team not making a trade deadline move, so no other player has to – sort of do that yeah. kind of travel schedule at the same time? Um, anytime you get a chance to uh, expand the game that you've that I've been playing since I was six years old, game that I love, um, game that I put my heart into, anytime you got a chance to share that with a, a different group of people, different culture, um, no matter where it is, it's, it's a blessing. Um, it's, a, it's a huge opportunity. And last year in London was fun. I had a good time. Um, but this year in Germany, man, I'm with a special group of guys, and we got an opportunity to do something real special. So it makes the experience that much better, that much sweeter. Um, and guys been uh, been working, man. We uh, Last year we had a week in L.A., and I saw a lot of guys. I'm not going to say, like, uh, we weren't prepared, but a lot of guys kind of took that as a, as a vacation opportunity, and we weren't the best us that Sunday. And uh, full circle a year later from now, man, we just taking full advantage of the opportunity. Um, whether it's recovering as much as we can, whether it's um, hitting the practice field as hard as we can, everybody's bought in, everybody's locked in, and it's, it's a, a, a beautiful thing to see, man. And like I said, on the international part of it, it's just fun, man, being able to expand the game, like I said, and um, be out here in a great country. Hey, Bradley, how's it going? Doing good. Uh, you lead the team in sacks. Um, can can you just share some of your experience of playing against some of the top uh, quarterbacks and, and I guess some of the running backs in the league uh, this year so far? Uh, yeah, man. It's been a like anytime you step a foot on that field, healthy, um, it's a blessing. Uh, it's been a blessing, uh, and it's been one of those things, man. I just try to be the best me each and every week. Um, I feel like in the start of the start of the season, I was kind of, you know, not really living in the moment, trying to do this and that and be the superhero because I'm the guy they paid or whatever it may be. And over these past couple of weeks, man, I've just been locking in on, on my teammates and on what I got to do personally to be the best me. Because at the end of the day, man, I'm just a small piece in this big puzzle. And each day I approach, I'm going to make sure I do my job the best, make sure I do this the best, make sure I bring uh, guys along with me with energy, with anything it may be. So um, it's been working out the past couple of weeks, man, and seeing um, <laughs> my boy. And uh, being able to go against some of the top, like you said, backs and quarterbacks in the league, man, it's been a it's been a a, a fun experience, man. Because especially when you see yourself starting to have success, because uh, it just lets you know, man, you you here for a reason. And um, we've been playing, like you said, a lot of great quarterbacks, and we got a lot of, uh, a great quarterback and a great offense coming up this week as well. So um, just trying to continue that, continue the the process of it, continue the uh, the the mindset and all that, and just try not to think of it as, oh, we playing th these guys, you know what I mean? Just taking it week by week, day by day, and uh, letting the play do his talking. And a uh, follow-up, how do you think a trip like this does for the team as a unit, the, the camaraderie and, and things like that? It, it brings us together a lot, man. Like I said last week, I mean, last year in L.A. when we uh, were out there for a week, I feel like we kind of missed some of that. You know, the guys hung out with each other, but it, was, it wasn't that – that team, that close, that, you know what I mean? So um, being able to do it again this year, man, and, and seeing the, the transformation of us as a team from then to now, um, and just to see how guys are bought in, bought into each other, bought into just everything coaches preaching. Um, it's been fun to see, man, and I feel like we're going to be uh, a better team leaving Germany for sure. Bradley, back here, all the way in the back. Yep. Hey, um, you heard Tyreek uh, talk about he didn't want to touch the Swifty thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you got guys like Jalen back there and Javon, they're going to have to be dealing with, with Kelsey. Do you feel for them and, and the wrath they might take from some of these Swifties if they if they do their job the way they're supposed to? I mean, yeah, man. But at the end of the day, we're going to be happy that they're doing their job. You know what I mean? We could, I, I don't want to say nothing about the Swifties, but we could care less about what they think. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just got to make sure. I know those boys are going to do their job, and we got to do our job to help them out. I was going to I was going to say to do your job is, is getting after uh, Mahomes, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
that's the key to, to, to stopping this offense? Is that, what, is that the way you feel? Uh, for sure. And like Tyreek said, man, 87 is a huge part of that. Um, but when you got a guy like Patrick Mahomes, man, he's all world for a reason. You know what I mean? He, he has the perfect feel for the game. He has the perfect uh, – he knows when the rush is coming. He knows when the DB's lacking off or anything like that. So it's not going to be an easy task at all in no way, shape, or form. But um, I, we got a lot of guys on this defense that play hard, that play together. And I feel like if we continue to do that, man, we, sh we should have success. Mm -hmm. But that's just me talking, you know what I mean? We got to go out there Sunday and actually do it, actually prove it, um, actually set our standard uh, on that field out here in Germany. Um, so it's going to be a great challenge, man. I'm excited about it. And like I said, man, just to see where this team is at a whole year from now, um, I feel like we're like I said, in a way better position um, to, to play these type of games, to play these um, – like Alex alluded to it, those mentally tough games because everybody has to come out here and re redo your, your whole routine and stuff like that. So um, just guys being bought in, man, and I feel like it's uh, uh, going to take us exactly where we need to be. Hi, Bradley. Uh, the Frankfurt Stadium is supposed to be the loudest stadium in Germany. What kind of atmosphere do you expect on Sunday? A huge one, man. I know those fans are going to kind of be cheering for both sides. I, I hope that's the plan. Uh, that's how it kind of was in uh, London last year. It was uh, uh, loud the whole game. You know, um, that energy was, was there the whole game. And I know um, these fans out here are going to bring the same energy, the same love for the game. And um, it's going to be a, a great atmosphere I'm excited for. How's it going, Bradley? Go ahead. Uh, been asking a lot of your teammates about and coaches about playing against Mahomes. Mm -hmm. And Fangio Vic earlier today said it kind of starts with not allowing him to run, not allowing him to escape the pocket. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's easier said than, than yeah. done, though? Way easier said than done. Because, like I said, he has such a great feel for the game that you could keep him in the pocket, but he's going to find a little sliver or, or whatever it may be. So... Uh, like I said, it's not going to be an easy task, but that's that's the goal. You know what I mean? And uh, we might not do it every play. We might not do it you know, half the plays. But at the end of the day, man, that's the goal to keep them in that pocket. And even if we don't, I know the guys on the back end are going to do their jobs to hold up, to to reroute the plaster and all that type of stuff. So um, it's more about team defense and um, – not trying to, not so much getting caught up in, oh, if he escapes the pocket, it's going to hurt us because th he's going to do that. He's, it's, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the best for a reason. So he's going to do that. He's going to be in, in, in those positions to make plays. We just got to be in better position. And to quickly follow up, what I guess, what's the challenge of keeping him contained and not over pursuing and not, you know, trying to chase after sack and rather just staying in your zone? The challenge is, uh, especially up front, is like, you always want to win on your first move. Like, oh, I beat that dude clean, I got a sack. You know what I mean? You always want that to happen. But the challenge is not getting frustrated and not winning in your first move. Yeah, your first move might come clean, but he's going to step up and boom, the tackle's going to be right there. You got to work it again to, you know what I mean, get past him that time and Mahomes might be right there. The quarterback might be on the other side. You, you never know. So that's the challenge of you just not knowing exactly where he's going to be. But um, like I said, we got guys that play hard, that get after the, not only the quarterback, but the running backs, the receivers. and. Um, like if we play that team defense, like I know we can and I know we will, um, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be good for us. Thank you. Hi, Bradley. How you doing? Yeah, good. Thanks. Uh, you seem to be very reflective, uh, speaking and feeling very blessed. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a part of history this weekend, playing the first ever game in Frankfurt. How do you feel about that, and how far do you think NFL International can go? The sky's the limit, man. Uh, hopefully, in the future, we see something crazy like a, a division over here or something, and we got to, you know, what I'm saying, teams got to travel over here every year to be able to play in front of these great fans. Um, but uh, yeah, man, like I said, the sky's the limit, man. And, and uh, what was the first question you asked? I'm sorry. Uh, how do you feel about being a part of history? Oh yeah, and being a part of history, man, just. It's a, when you, like I said, I wouldn't be in this position now if it wasn't for this time last year, you know what I mean? So when, when you look at the grand scheme of things, man, it's just, just God putting me in this position, you know? God putting me in the right position, the, the, the one he wants me to be in. And, um, you know, uh, if, that, if that entails making history, then that's what it is. And I'm not thinking, oh, we, this is history, you know what I mean? I'll just go out there and do my thing and um, look back on it like, man, we, we really did something special. So that's the goal, man, and, and uh, going to keep fighting each and every day this week to make sure that we're on the right side of history, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, like I said, it's a blessing to, to be here.